Today we're going to be talking about 45 degree offsets in pipe uh, and we're going to hit on some other degrees as well. So if you want to do 22 and a half, 30 or 60 degree, I'll give you the formulas to show you how to do that. But when we're talking about a 45 degree offset, it's, it's a special right triangle. So what we're trying to do and where we'll measure from is from this very center of our fittings. So that distance is called the travel and that's one of the things that we're going to solve for. Then you have the advance or the rise. That's the distance between that point and the bottom point uh, for your centers of your, of your elbows. And then your set or your run is the distance side to side. That's the center line of your pipes shifted over. Now with 45 degree offsets, there are some constants that we're gonna go over as well, but it's important to know how these are derived. So if you've worked with pipe, you probably know the number 1.414. And what that is, is a ratio of the length of the set. In the case of a 45, it's the length of the set and the, and the advance because they're both the same in a 45 degree triangle in relationship to the travel. And it's a trigonometry function. So the way this works is, and this is a the special right triangle or the 45 degree right triangle. So the way this works is it uses trigonometry functions. Those are sine, cosine, and tangent. The way you remember those is phonetically how to do the formulas. That is Sokotoa. So Sokotoa it means it's sine of the angle, and in our case, that's a 45 degree angle, will be equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So let's just do that real quick and I'll show you uh, what that means. So if we do, in our case, it's a 45 degree triangle. And I'm going to do this on an iPhone. So the inputs are a little bit different. So we put our degree in first and then we hit sign. And that tells us that it is 0 0.707. Now what that means is that for, if the unit of length is one here, then this side, the opposite from our angle will be 70.71% the length of the hypotenuse or the travel. And then if we were to do the same thing with cosine, it'll be the exact same number to solve for the adjacent side using this angle. So this angle, this side would be adjacent. This is your hypotenuse or your travel, and this is the opposite side. So using that same angle of 45, it's gonna come up exactly the same. So if we do 45, cosine, you'll get exactly the same. So this side is also 70.71% the length of your travel. Now, the relationship between the two, uh, between your opposite side and your adjacent side using this angle will be one in this case, or they'll be equal because in a 45, they are equal. So if we were to do 45 tangent, that equals to one, which is a one to one ratio. For every one unit of length this one is, this one will also be one unit of length, so they'll be exactly the same. So this is where those numbers come from. So you might ask, how did they get 1.414 then? Well, let's go back to the sign. So this one is a 70.71% the length of this one. But what we want to find out, because the what we'll know in this, so this will be our run or our set. Uh, so what we want to know is if this one is equal to one unit, what it is is the distance over here. And to do that, you have to do the inverse of sine, which I'll show you uh, in a formula here in just a little bit, but you'll do one divided by, and we'll input our angle, one over the sine of 45 degrees and then hit equal. And there comes the magic number 1.414. Now in a 45 degree triangle, also this relationship here, you can get this number a different way as well. So in a 45 degree triangle, if this uh, is equal to one and this is equal to one, then this is equal to the square root of two. So if we put the square root of two in there, that is also your 1.41421. So there's a couple of different ways to get it in a right triangle, but a, uh, a 45 degree right triangle, but that is a special triangle. So what if your degree changes though? Okay, so here are the formulas. If you know, let me center this up a little bit. So if you know your set or the 
side to side or center line of your two pipes. Then the formula to get that uh, for your travel, uh, to get the travel of, of when you know that distance, is going to be 1 over the sine of your angle times the length of the set. So if we were going to do, let's just say, uh, I set this up as a 3-inch pipe with a 12-inch set and a 12-inch advance. So if we go in and we do 1 divided by 45 degree sine, that equals our magic 1.414, and then we multiply that times 12, that's going to make the length of our travel 16.97 inches, which is about... Uh, 16 and 31 30 seconds it's just under 17 inches in overall length but we need to solve a little further than that uh, well let's go through these a little bit more so if you want to find the advance uh, obviously in a right I mean, 45 degree triangle those are going to be exactly the same but these formulas will work for any degree so let me just back up here we'll do a 30 degree uh, or actually we'll do a 22 and a half so if we go one divided by 22.5 sine that's going to get us 2.613 and then we multiply that number times the length of our set in our case that was 12 inches and that makes the travel 31.35 inches in a 22 and a half degree offset so those formulas will work for every single degree so if you're doing a 22 and a half you're doing a 30 a 45 or a 60 uh, they'll, those are the formulas to get there. Now, in a 45, those create what is called your constant. So a little easier to remember this. If you know the set, then it's going to be your travel will be equal to 1.414 times the set. In a 45, the advance and the set are exactly the same length. And if you know the travel, but you're trying to find the advance or the, or, or the set, then it will be, for the advance, it will be 0.707 times the travel, and because they're equal, it'll be exactly the same for the set. But if you're using a different degree, then those constants change. But these formulas here are how you get the constants for those different degrees. Okay, now that we know where those constants come from and how you derive those particular numbers, let's figure out what our length is going to be here and then we're going to have to figure out what the pup length is because the travel and the pup are are different so in our example our set is going to be 12 inches our advance is going to be 12 inches so in order to get uh, the formula or get the length of the travel for that triangle then we'll go 1.414 times 12 and that will get us 16.968 so our travel is 16.968 inches now the pup is the actual piece that goes in between uh, your fittings so what we have to do is your pup is equal to your travel minus the takeoff and the takeoff of your fittings will be measured from the center to the flange and depending on what type of fitting you're using whether it's a socket fitting a threaded fitting or weld fitting will determine your next step. But first we need to uh, subtract the takeoff here and the takeoff up here. So in the case of a three inch, that takeoff is gonna be two inches. So we'll take our 16.968, we'll subtract two inches for each side for a total of four, and that makes our pup length 12.968. So we'll put our pup length as 12.968 inches now if you're going if this okay so now we've determined our pup length or the length of our of our uh, piece is going to be at 45 degrees so if we're doing a weld fitting then you also have to subtract whatever you use as weld gap here and here so a lot of times that'll be uh for tig it's going to be like an eighth inch on each side so then you'll subtract an extra quarter inch off of this number and that will be the final measurement of your pup now if you're doing a threaded fitting uh, then you will have to take off the advance uh, or excuse me take off do the takeoffs on either side and then you'll have to add back the distance of your thread engagement so for different size pipes that's, that's different lengths 
And then finally, if you're doing a socket, then you'll have to add back in the engagement of the socket as well onto the pup. So these are how you get those numbers. And again, these are the formulas for every degree. So whichever fitting you happen to be working with, if you use these formulas here, then you'll be able to find the constants, uh, which in the case of 45 is 1.414 and 0.707, and that's how they derive those. So it's a, a little breakdown of how they get those. All that all that the trig functions are is a relationship of ratio. And like I said, in a 45, if this equals one, then that means that the sides are 70.71% the length of the sides or of, excuse me, of the, of the uh, travel or the hypotenuse. Now, if it goes reverse, obviously, then this is one and this is one. And this means that this ratio will be 141.4% as long as the sides. So it's just a, it's just ratios is how uh, trig functions are derived, but they're very important to be able to get, uh, distances like these extremely easy. So if you go through, uh, and use these for different, uh, different angles of, uh, fittings, you'll be able to get all of your, of your constants and you can record those and make your job a lot easier. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in the next one.